Hello everyone, it's Kavita from Red Door Yoga. Thank you for joining me online for the Red Door Yoga Mini Sutra Series. Today I wanted to talk to you about purpose and community. So there were experiments that were done where they took lab rats and they placed them in a cage uh, by themselves. So one rat per cage away from other rats. So they were without a rat community. And what they did was by putting this rat in a cage by itself without other rats, without a rat community, where it therefore couldn't really completely be a rat in relation to others, they then offered this rat cocaine. Now, we're not having a discussion on the ethics of this, this experiment. We're just talking about the results of this experiment. What they found was if they isolated this rat, where it couldn't really be a rat in its fullest form because it didn't have a rat community, and they offered it cocaine, it very quickly became addicted to the cocaine to the point where it would do nothing but take cocaine. But if they took the rat then and they put it back into a community with other rats, where it could be a rat, be what it was meant to be, it was built to be, it had the purpose of a rat, and they offered it cocaine, it was very difficult to get addicted to cocaine. So what that experiment showed us, and not just on the level of rats, but on the level of human beings as well, who function very much the same way, is that if we do not have a purpose in relation to our community, we are very prone to addictions. Now, these could be chemical addictions, you know, in the, the sense of, of chemical drugs like cocaine and, and methamphetamines, etc. Or it could be addictions in relation to, to food. It could be addictions in, you know, in relation to, to television, to whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. It could be addictions where uh, we're just simply addicted to uh, patterns of behavior that are unhelpful. Without purpose and community, we are seeking the sense of fulfillment from the wrong places. That's what our addiction is. A, a desire to try to get a sense of fulfillment because we cannot find it in, from, in a healthy place. And that healthy place is within our purpose in the world, within our community. But if we have purpose, real purpose, where we feel like we are built for something, which I genuinely believe each and every person is, we are built for something, and that something is in service to our community. It becomes very difficult to get us hooked into addictions. We are very able to face ourselves down, to notice patterns that we have, and to change them. They don't have absolute rule over us. On the path of self-mastery, a recognition of your purpose in an appropriate community is the key. I hope that was helpful, everyone. I'm actually going to welcome you into our community, The Masterful Path. That's our mentorship program. We have a community where everyone in it they're working on their purpose, they're working on their self-mastery. The doors to that community are currently closed, and that's because we only open the doors once a year for four days, and that's coming up in September. So if you would actually like to join a community that is very purposeful and very much dedicated to self-mastery, very much dedicated to facing down the uh, the, the patterns and addictions that uh, are we're all prone to if we move off purpose and move out of community, we would love to have you. So in that case, go to themasterfulpath.com, join the waitlist, and we will see you in September, as the song goes, when the doors open. And until then, Please continue to join me online for the mini sutras where we discuss yoga philosophy and self-mastery. I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Namaste.